I'm gonna share my story with you. <coughs> okay, uh, sometime last year, I was doing my usual public health work uh, at a rural school in Zimbabwe. I interacted with two little girls in a primary school in a rural setup. Um, these girls had no proper shoe, had no proper shoe or proper uh, and a proper screen form. I tried to understand their situation. I asked about, um, we had a little chat about their lifestyle. I also asked about um, what they wanted to do when they grow up. To my surprise, these girls, they wanted uh, just to be like uh, me, house, house helpers. I was shocked about, uh, about their responses. This got me thinking about how I grew up and inequalities I faced as a child in accessing resources um, like another family or another child. Um, growing up in a family of 22 orphans with no proper housing, food, clothing, clothing, or access to social care services. I vividly remembered my grandmother telling uh, donors from the United States of America that she would want her children to go to school rather than getting um, a house or an orphanage built for her. Um, today, I am where I am because I had an opportunity to access better education. The young girls could have uh, dreamt big, uh, could have been ambitious, they could have like said, I want to be a doctor or a, a woman in STEM, if they had an opportunity. This is one of the, uh, the stories of inequalities that I faced throughout my work experience. This is my uh, passion to become a change maker and contribute to the efforts towards a better world that is fair and just through advocates for health policies, leading me to join Change, change Maker Academy, which, um, which boasts a diverse group of passionate and enthusiastic individuals. Um, from uh, my journey as a change maker here with these guys, I have learned that uh, people are always ready to listen to you. If you have an idea to change the world, there's always someone who is there to help uh, develop that idea. And I'm proud to be part of that group. Thank you so much. <laughs>